Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. Sometimes as you're creating, uh, there comes a point where your current reality has to break. And that's because your current reality can't support the desired reality. See, one of the, one of the interesting things that we do as humans, we say, oh, I want everything to be different, but I don't want things to, to break. So, so imagine the weird paradigm. I'd like it to be like this, but can't I just take everyone that I love and everything that I do with me? <laughs> <You know? laughs> like I want, I want something, I want something new, but, but please don't take it. But, but the, see that there's no space in your life for the newness, isn't it? There's no space in your life for the newness. So you're saying, Hey, uh, I want this. And then you go, you know, as you're, as you're creating, you feel flow. And then all of a sudden, this person leaves you or this thing stops or this thing breaks. And you think, no, no, don't take that. Don't take that friend. Don't take that um, money. Don't take that job. No, I'm creating abundance. <laughs> now I've lost my job. You know, is, isn't it true? Who's ever experienced in, in, in creating as you're moving towards something, there, there comes a point where things have to sort of uh, die down or disappear. You, you can't take uh, everything uh, old into the new. In fact, you, you don't even want it. It's just connected to an old aspect of you. It, it's actually a, a big part of, of creating uh, is that uh, as you focus on what you want, you've you, you got to leave behind uh, the old and you must stay focused you must stay focused on it and, and that is why we're here many people ask but Chris why does it have to be a year that you do masterclass can't I just try a couple of months and I always say no because it, it, it's it's when you get into the moments of true creating and you're really moving the old starts to break and if you don't have us here in those moments you'll race to fix the old you see, and as you fix the old, you'll just rebuild it, won't you? You'll just rebuild it, and and in the act of rebuilding it, you've just buckled to the tension of not of not losing instead of creating. True. Today's a big day for me. Today's a big day of creating. <laughs> Who have I got on? Where's my team? Where's May? Where's Esther? Is anyone on? Yeah, today's a big day. Britt's here. Migs is here. Migs was there. He knows what I'm about to talk about. Yeah, uh, you know, so five years ago today, Dee died. And uh, it always hits me. You know, I was, I was talking to my wife two nights ago and I said, babe, I'm sad. She goes, what do you mean? I go, I'm sad. She goes, oh, that's weird. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. And then I realized. And it was, it was, it was so hard to accept. You know, the, the, the week before, the, the leading up to, and, and you guys know, Jesus was my business partner. My, my, best, my best friend killed in a motorcycle accident, uh, 3rd of March, 2016. You know, leading up to that moment, we we had been. Uh, I was obviously the speaker of the business, and he was the he was the man behind the scenes. And uh, um, leading up to it, I got I got the movie. So I got in the movie with Tony Robbins and the Dalai Lama. Uh, I just released a book about two months before. Uh, we'd got we'd actually spent a heck of a lot of money in bringing Gary Vaynerchuk to Australia. And I was supposed to speak, uh, I was supposed to speak with, with Gary on, uh, on stage. 
And, uh, and then we also had this big name speaker that we were sort of promoting. We were busy, hey, we were busy. And I, and I remember the, the weeks kind of leading up to it, I was in a lot of conflict. Wow, Tracy, I feel you. And, and, and here's the interesting thing is uh, I actually sat the week, the, the couple of weeks before he died, I sat there and, and I asked big questions. I said, well, on, on one hand, I've got this, this, uh, this movie that I'm in and it's all about you know, mindset and spirituality. And, and I was like, wow, that's huge. I'm in this movie with Tony Robbins and Dada. Like, this is amazing. I was like, wow, I hadn't done it yet. Um, you know, he never got to see it. And, and so, so I was like, wow, that's amazing. But at the same time, I was this marketer with this marketing business. And I'd, I'd spent like over a hundred thousand dollars to bring Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, out to Australia and, and to do these things. And, and so I'm sitting in this challenge and, uh, and I actually asked, I said, you know, I, I said, I, 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 you, you know, I can't do both. I can't be both of these. And I, and, and I sat there and I, and I said, you know, what, which one do I want to be? And I, and I decided, I said, you know what I want to be? I want to, I want to help people to change their lives. And I, and I said, I need a sign. I need something. I need, I need something. And, and so it was really in this conflict about, you know, which, which way to go with life. And then, you know, obviously Dee's died and uh, it, was, it was horrendous. And, uh, you know, looking back on it, it was, uh, it was, it, it was very, very tough. And it, it made who you meet now, hey? It, it made who you meet now. And, and and what happens is, is that I was supposed to be speaking on stage with Gary V and, and all this money I'd spent, but, but his, his family organized a funeral on the exact same day. And there's no fucking way I was missing that funeral. So, so I spoke at the funeral, not at the, the event. And then, and then if you look at it, I end up in this place where I'm in, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. You know, I'm going, holy crap. I had to borrow money from my mom to pay my staff. Esther's on here. Do you remember that Esther? We had staff like Esther and Megs were, were here. We had staff like complaining to me, so scared, undermining me. Uh, they were going and getting clients and they were all scared as well about their livelihood and their business. So they went and, you know, they went and got clients. I had clients stealing my staff. I had, it was just chaos, hey. But I found my moment. And you know, I borrowed money from my mother. I said, please, you know, I need, I need a month. I just need a month to, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. And uh, and I sat on the side of this lake and uh, <laughs> and and I was, I was actually, I was just sitting there and I, I bought like I bought like a six pack of beers, you know, one of those moments after the few and I, I just was by myself and I burst, I just burst out laughing. I just, I just burst out laughing and, uh, you know, and, and I remember the moment it was so profound and it's important for you. I was like, <laughs> well, is this it? Is this the worst it can get? I was like, is this it? I was like, is this it? And, and the, and the, the idea that you're more powerful than any moment sprung to me then. You know? And I realized, I, I was like, you know, this is horrendous, but it can never get worse than this. And literally everything fell apart. Everything fell apart. Three weeks later, I meet Colette, get introduced to the superconscious. Uh, ignore it for, for, for a couple of years. Then I meet, meet William and, and we birth this. I don't know any other way the magnetic mind would have got birthed if that space hadn't been created. I mean, I'd trade it back. I'd trade it back.
I would. But you don't get that option, do you? So, so here we are on a fucking very important day to me. And, and here's what's important is that shit's going to happen as you're creating. But you gotta, you got to stay in that emotion of what's, you know, what's important to you, eh? Because if, if we think that we create everything, we can get ourselves in, in, in such, such a messed up place, hey? Instead of realizing stuff isn't going to go to your self-conscious plan all the time. And, and things that you, you think are supposed to go with you they might break, they might leave, they might get destroyed, but you gotta realize you're more powerful than that. Dees handed me um, Path of Least Resistance in 2007 when I was a DJ at his bar. He, he gave me my first Tony Robbins box set. He had this bookshelf and he said, you're only allowed one book at a time. This is me. I was 19. He was 34, 35 at the time. And he'd give me a book and he'd say, read this. He said, tell me what you learned. Get the next one. You know, he believed in some drug addicted, dreadlock wearing DJ who no one else, who, who was a failed basketball player. So, so as you're creating, don't ever allow yourself to believe that, that, that there won't be human moments as you're creating. You see, you, you, you're not able to, you're not able to know how it's going to turn out. All you can know is how it feels stepping stepping into it and taking the obvious action see that the the obvious action was to just get my business back together the obvious uh the obvious action was just to get my business together the obvious action was to 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 just have sessions with collect that was obvious that was it the obvious was just to do marketing it was easy you see i wasn't that was just obvious it was obvious. It was just. It was just taking that obvious action, but not buying into you know all of this other stuff. And if it wasn't for that, then then I end up in in Austin, Texas, and I pitch these billionaires, and they say, "Chris, we love we love your idea, but we're not investing in you because you're so obsessed with fixing yourself." And it was a huge shock to me, you know, because at that point I was like, you know, you just just do this. And so, so I met that and I became very good friends with, with him. And, and then that led me down the path of allowing myself to just do the marketing company through the, if I didn't have the marketing company, then I wouldn't have been able to ever help Colette and build that friendship. I talked to her every week. And so if I wasn't able to, that would, that's what was needed. Does this make sense? Then I was doing the marketing and I was using Fritz's work in sales and marketing, create tension in a prospect. 
And it wasn't until William said, that's actually a personal development tool and, and brought, brought my awareness. This thing that I've been teaching for, for years was actually the, the missing piece. Once you became super conductive with no resistance, then it's there. And, and, and then you guys meet me five years down the track, hey? And it looks like someone said to me yesterday, she said, she goes, oh, it's so great to meet someone who just has it all together. <laughs> And I was like, I'm glad that's how it looks to you. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad that someone's fooled. <laughs> it's like a duck swimming across water, isn't it? And, and so, so my message to all of you today, you know, uh, and especially our team, there's a lot of team on here. Uh, is, is, is you, you must get into your end result and, and then live from that. And, and, and as you do that, you've got to know that your, your plans won't go to plan. Uh, things, things will break down. They have to. The current you can't be there. You see, it's, it's just impossible. And sometimes, uh, and I'll, I'll never agree that, that this was the way I wanted it, you know, but, but, but you, you can't change as how it needs to be. You, you know, you, in life, you have the opportunity to claim your heart, to claim your destiny. You, 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 have the, you have the chance to claim your heart and claim your destiny. Or you have the chance to, to just make excuses about why you didn't do it. And you're going to get these opportunities to find your heart, your destiny, your truth, your fullest expression, and you get to go for it. Or you can get stuck in the humanness of it all, you see, and then have to come back and do it next time. And, and so just know this, hey, is that it's okay. It's okay as you're creating to get upset if things are going wrong. It's part of building something new that the old must, must die. Some aspects of the old will go with you. It's okay if not all the, all the people who are in your, in your current reality, they're not going to be in your, in your, your desired reality. And you might have to just live with that. It might be the person you're married to. It might be the. It might be your best friend. It might be uh, your family. They might not be there, because that might not be part of their path. Does that make sense? It might not be part of their path. And, and so, so often I see very, very capable creators limit themselves because of one of those one of those beliefs that they can't let things go. You know. They can't let that be true. This person has to come with them, or I need to fix this, or I need. They can't let it be true. They take the power away from the mystery, the universe of how it's going to show up. You know what's obvious is we we come into this this world by ourselves, and we're going to leave it by ourselves. And on that journey, we get to go on an adventure. We get to get some companions. Some of us will find a life companion, or maybe we'll have a life companion for a while and then another one. And, and we get to find, uh, we get to find this and we get to, but, but we start and end as a creative energy. We start and end as a creative energy. And you, you're just not going to be able to control everything that happens between those two points. The only thing you can control is that you tune into the end result and, and take the obvious action. And that's it. Many people say, Chris, I don't know what I should do next. I don't know what I should do next. I don't know what I should, Chris, I don't know. If you, if you don't know what you should do, you're not in the obvious. You're not in the obvious. There's the obvious always is there for you of what needs to be done. You know, I, I, I talked to uh, another person a couple of days ago, and, and she's, she's wanting to do this in her life, but, but husband uh, doesn't want to do this. I'm like, well, what's obvious is you need to have the conversation about what you want to do. 
No, no, it will just lead to a fight. You're putting the fear of the fight above what's true for you. And is it true for you to, to be holding back your, your, your vision because of a fear of conflict? Why wouldn't you do that? Oh, I don't want it to, because it could turn into something big and blah, blah, blah. Then he might leave me. Well, that might be what needs to happen. That, you know, people, Chris, you can't say that. Uh, you know, I mean, the best way to know if that's how it's supposed to be is to honor and own your truth. It will flush out what's there, hey? So welcome. Who's new? You come on a you come on an interesting first call. Who's new? <laughs> welcome to Mag Mind. Who's new? <laughs> if you're new or this is your first session, I'm so thrilled for you to be here. Magnetic Mind is the last work you ever need. You ever need. We have other courses and other things, intuition and mastery and stuff. But this is the only one you ever need because this is where we help you to become powerful. Sure, we have lots of other things, but. If you don't take the action towards what you love, if you don't follow that action, what are you really telling yourself? So please make sure you do, hey? Please make sure you do, because when you take that action, even if it's a small step, the, the Matthew effect comes into play, you know, and, and you get more of what you give where you, where, you, where, you, where you put your focus, where you put your attention grows, hey? So you, you grow this aspect of you that focuses you and moves you so that you go. And then that, as you give that action, it gets bigger, like a snowball and bigger. And you take that action and, and you let go of the old you, you take the action, let go of the old you, take the action. Make sense?